glad to be back like Abra, Abra, Hi guys, this tutorial is for beginners and if you wonder how to edit your very first car edit, you should start from here, in this tutorial I won't use any plugins except Mocha AE. I highly recommend for beginners to use Mocha for masking and tracking. So let's begin. Once you have dropped your clips and music in After Effects, first what you should do is, select your music and double click on L on your keyboard to open music beat drops. As you can see I've already marked my beat drops and it makes me easy to cut my clips on every beat. To set the marks, simply scroll to beat drops and then press star button on your keyboard. Once you have marked all of your music beat drops, close your music settings and now we can begin making a smooth speed ramps. Select your clip and right click on it, Go to Time and select Enable Time Remapping. At the very beginning of your clip, start moving Time Remap forward to choose the beginning of your clip. Now scroll forward where the first beat drop was and start moving Time Remap forward again and choose the end of your clip. Now cut the rest of your video. Select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to Graph Editor. Right click on a timeline and make sure edit value graph is selected. Make a smooth curve, simply copy mine. This type of curve will speed up your video at the beginning then slow down and speed up in the end. Make sure to enable frame blending on all speed ramped layers, click here twice until you see an arrow. Now you know how to make speed ramps, let's check how it looks like and then we can begin making the effects. Once you are happy with the speed ramps and they all are smooth, we can make first effect, car slam. Scroll to your second clip and duplicate it. Right click on duplicated layer and pre-compose it. Make sure to select move all attributes and adjust composition duration, then rename it to effect and click on OK. Now we have to freeze this layer, make sure you are at the beginning of the effect layer, right click on it, go to time and select, freeze frame. Go 20 frames backward now, hold shift and press page up button twice on your keyboard. Move the effect layer there and cut the ending of it where the actual video starts from. Once we have this still image of the car, we should isolate it from a background. Grab a pen tool and start masking the car as smooth as possible. Once you've finished masking, toggle off masks to see the car clearly. And once you are satisfied with it, go to the end of effect layer and press P on your keyboard to open position. Click on position stopwatch icon. Then go to very beginning of the effect layer and move car's position all the way up. Let's check it. Cool, now let's smooth it. Select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor. Right click here and select edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine. Make sure to enable motion blur on that layer. The car slam effect is ready. Let's jump to another effect, car slide. Duplicate your video, right click on it and pre-compose it. Rename it to car only and click on OK. We have to isolate the car from a background and this time I will use a roto brush tool. Double click on car only layer and roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done selecting, press space bar to play back the video and check if the selection is following the car perfectly. If the selection is not following the car at some points, stop at that moment, correct the mask and play back again to check. Once you are happy with the selection and corrected it, add a feather a bit, I will set it to 10. Then click on freeze button. Once the freezing is done, go back to composition. Duplicate car only layer now, select bottom one and rename it to car slide. Add offset effect on car slide layer. Go to very beginning of car slide layer and click on shift center stopwatch icon. Then go forward and begin adding shift center values, make slides as much as you want. In the end make sure to match both cars positions. Now press U on your keyboard to open keyframes and move second keyframe to the end of the layer. Let's check the slide. Nice, all we have to add now is a motion blur to the slide effect. We have two options, one is free and another is paid. Free option is, CC Force Motion Blur and the paid one is RSMB Pro. RSMB is paid and if you don't have it, I have a good news. Once AM Film hits 10,000 subscribes, I will give away RSMB Pro to everyone who will write me on Instagram, there is no rules you have to follow, you should be subscribed on AM Film and follow me on Instagram, and that's enough to get your RSMB. And now let's continue editing the video. Select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine.
everything is cool to me. Let's jump to another effect, easy zoom transition. Duplicate your clip, right click on duplicated layer and pre-compose it. Rename it to zoom and click on OK. Make sure you are at the very beginning of zoom layer, then right click on it, go to time and select freeze frame. Go 20 frames backward, hold shift and press page up twice on your keyboard. Move zoom layer there and cut it where the actual video starts from. We have to isolate the car from a background, I will use a pen tool. Mask the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done with the mask, toggle off mask line so we can see the car clearly. Now go to very end of zoom layer and press S on your keyboard. Click on scale stopwatch icon. Now go to very beginning of zoom layer and change scale to 0%. Let's check zooming effect. Enable motion blur on zoom layer and now, as always select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Nice, zooming effect is ready and we can jump to another effect. I don't know the name of this effect but, it's very popular and easy effect to do. To make this effect we will need to mask out the wheel. To mask the wheel and track that mask perfectly, we will need to use Mocha AE. As I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, Mocha AE is free and I recommend you to use it for better masking. After effects masking tools doesn't work properly, the tracking is awful and it will take hours to make a smooth and perfect track mask, so, save your time and download Mocha AE. Once you have installed it, add Mocha AE on your clip and let's jump into Mocha. Here grab an ellipse tool and mask the wheel. Once you are satisfied with the mask, click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save button and close Mocha AE. Under the Mocha, expand mat and click on apply mat. Now make sure to double click on anchor point tool and move the anchor point to center of the rim. Rename that layer to, Rim. Duplicate Rim Layer, select Bottom 1 and delete Mocha on it. Rename Bottom Rim Layer to Car Only. Select Rim Layer now and press S on your keyboard. Click on Scale Stopwatch icon, then go a few frames forward and decrease the rim scale a bit. Duplicate Rim Layer and press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes and move them forward a bit. Go to your second keyframe and decrease the scale a bit more. Now go to very end of rim layer, then right click on top rim layer scale and click on, reset. Select all rim keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. Finally enable motion blur on rim layers and we are done. Lastly. Once you finished editing, add motion blur on your clips. Use CC Force Motion Blur as the free version. If you have RSMB Pro, use RSMB. If not, I will gift it to you once AM Film hits 10,000 subscribes. I hope this very basic video was helpful to you as a beginner. I've also left a link in description of the project files. Download them and practice in editing. Thanks for watching and like the video, please.